Hey everybody, um, I got another video here. This is a strange uh, RC car. Uh, it's obviously it's a Ferrari F40. Um, it's probably one four, about one fourteenth scale, and uh, it's a pretty good representation of the F, of the F40. Uh, looks like the wheels are correct uh, design, and uh, it's uh, it's a good looking car. You know, the F40 is a classic car. Um, you may notice it has this, this very strange ring on it, and I'll, I'll talk about it a bit. This car was was very, very strange. Um, I only found one other like it, and it's actually, at the time of this recording, it's actually for sale. Uh, someone um, overseas is selling it. Um, the name brand of it um, is Giochi Preziosi, something like that. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, obviously, that sounds like an Italian name. But um, this car originally had, when I got it, it was, they had this mechanism that, was, that, that came out of the bottom right here. This is not supposed to be like this. I had to do this, and I'll tell you why. There was a mechanism that came out of the bottom that had a little wheel on it. And um, it, the, the remote control I have for it, it's a three-channel remote control. Um, because one function of the remote, it would make this, it would make this, uh, this mechanism pop out. And it had a wheel on the end of it, and it would make the car do a wheelie. And you can control the angle. Uh, you can control the angle of the wheelie. Uh, you know, if you want it to pop up a little bit or whatever. And it also, it also steered the car some kind of way. And the car was able to do a lot of tumbles, flip over and stuff. And that's that's what this was for, I guess, to help it spin over and protect the car. Uh, but when I got it, it, it had that, it, it did have that mechanism in it, but it was like, uh, it looked like it may have been popped out at one time and somebody smashed it in. It, it was, it was destroyed. It didn't work. Um, I tried to fix it and there was no fixing it. So I had to remove it and, uh, doing so, uh, I had, it also removed steering components. Um, so I had to, I don't know if you see, you see those wires in there. The, the steering servo is way in the back of the car never seen one like that usually the steering servo is between the two wheels the steering servo is way in the back and I had to really mess around with it for a while to get it right to where the steering was right um, it ran on um, it ran on double-a batteries ran on eight double-a batteries and uh, of course you know me that's that's not enough power so I had to go, I went ahead and I converted it to where it would take a 9.6 volt. Now the only thing, and I have tried and tried and come to the conclusion that there was no way to tuck a 9.6 volt anywhere in this car. You may look at this, at this opening and say, oh, it could have fit in there easily. It'll fit in this hole, but because of the modifications I had to make with these, with these wires in here, to get the servo to work correctly to spit to turn the wheels right it, it won't fit and I also looked at uh, maybe cutting the body putting it on a, on a hinge but the battery pack actually won't fit here because the stir the, 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 the servo is in here so there is no way possible I could have gotten a 9.6 volt battery to fit inside this body unless I would have maybe put hobby grade parts in it and I just wasn't going through all of that so um, I can run it on a 9.6 volt the only problem is I have to yeah rest the battery in the back which looks like garbage so I don't really run this car uh, I don't run it but I'm, I just want to show it uh, to show it in a video here's the remote that I have for it it, uh, it says micro games USA um, it's, it's, it's actually digital proportional it's, it seems to be built very well um, backwards and forwards left to right and right here would control the angle at which the mechanism would come out. Very, very strange. I never, I've never seen anything else made like that. Um, the controller takes uh, six double A's. So, um, yeah, really weird car. Been having it for a long time. Um, you can see one of the uh, the thing is uh, one of the, the sticks is broke off, broken off right here. I never, I never went ahead and tried to replace it or anything. Uh, it does have a date on the inside of the controller. It has a stamp date of 1989. So that's uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's when it was uh, when it was made. But um, I'll go ahead and make a video of it running and uh, show it off. 
it does have it does have single motor drive but and it also has high low switch so it's got two gears had a rechargeable battery port right here so uh let's uh let's test it out so you can see how uh unesthetically pleasing it is to see this uh this awful battery pack taped to the way you know this is another reason i just i have been holding out doing a video on this car because there's no other way for me to run it so, but it is digital proportion i'll show you the steering and uh okay this is low gear The tires on it, they're uh, they're solid tires. They're not, you know, you usually see like uh, balloon tires where they would be hollow inside. They're solid and they're slick. So, uh, you know, taking it outside or putting it on the driveway or the road or something would probably really eat them up, put some nicks in them, in which they're not beat up or anything. So I've never ridden it on a, something hard like that. Hey, hey, relax, man. Yep, dog's not happy again. It does seem like it would, it, it does a pretty good speed. I don't know it's such a good idea in the house, but proportional system works well um, I guess I always could have connected something to that to the board on where the third channel uh, could have maybe made some lights come on or something like that since it is it could have taken advantage of the third channel yeah just think it's a little better and low here Yeah, but it, it, it's really a strange RC. I've, um, I bought it from someone that was actually in the States. have no idea how they had acquired it. But um, the, one that I, the one that I did see uh, online that's for sale, um, it's exactly like this. It's actually in the box, but the remote doesn't say, uh, doesn't have this sticker. It's got a different sticker on it. So... Um, and you know the car i can't find any kind of uh there's nothing on the car that would suggest manufacturer but i'm just going i'm just going off the uh, the one that i saw online uh, that, uh, manufacturer i mentioned earlier very strange um if you got one of these or if you've seen one of these or if you've had one of these let me know um I'd like to see another one. Uh, it's just such a strange car, you know. Uh, not something you're gonna just find commonly. I imagine this car probably didn't go very fast on the AA batteries. I guess that 9.6 has a lot to do with it. Well, that's it on this car um just wanted to put it out there so if any like i said if anyone's got one or has had one or seen one of these let me know because uh, i would like some more information on it uh, and like i said at the time of this video there is one for sale overseas if you just uh would happen to look on ebay and search a ferrari f40 rc it'd be an international and uh you, you'll see it guys got it in the box and everything it's in perfect shape but um, that's it. So, yeah, any comments, uh, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.